Joseph, thank you so much for inviting me back into your home for counselling. Last week I asked you a question and I think I touched on your anxiety. I'm so sorry that you got upset. That was not my intention. But well done for your bravery in having me back. It's not very easy talking to a stranger about feelings, is it? Look, first of all, I know you're a really nice person and you sincerely want to help me. It wasn't because of you last week. I have to talk about things if I really want to get better, to get control of my emotions. Uh, and the way I am now, I'm affecting my family. You know, I'm hurting everybody. Mm, how so? Look, before we get into the heavy stuff, would you like a coffee? I would love one, thank you. Okay. Would you like some milk? Yes, and two sugars, please. Okay. So you were telling me that it, it's been affecting your family, how so? Yeah, I mean, look, no, I love them very much and they know that I love them. But I don't, I don't think I'm a good father or a, even less than a husband. Mm. Is that what your family has said to you? No, I just know. How does Lara see you? <laughs> Poor Lara. Look, I... To be honest, I, I get really agitated with her and I continuously accuse her of nagging me and I don't know what I do that. I, my days are just, I don't know, I, I go to work, come back, have dinner, sit on the couch, watch TV, just don't interact, mm -hmm. you know? And the more I do this, the more I hate myself. I feel empty but just I can't stop it stop my routine <laughs> if poor Lara do you know why I really called you uh, after last week the other night uh, Laura was putting Carmela to bed and after that she came up to me and she sat next to me, she gave me a card, and I just pushed it away. And I said, no, no. Mm. You know, I, I don't know what I do that. I, you know, and she cried, and then I cried, and I made a mess of the situation. So you caught yourself out? Yeah. Like if I was watching on myself from the outside. And, you know, I, I told her that I was really sorry, really, really sorry, but I couldn't control it. She asked me what was wrong. She thought that I didn't love her anymore. She even told me, she even told me that, that she would, if I was going to be happier uh, being divorced uh, from her, she, she would sign the papers. And that for her, the, my happiness was more important than anything in the world. Do you want a divorce? No, God, no. See, that's what I'm talking about. I love her very much, she's the love of my life. But I'm, I'm probably giving her that impression. Just not right. Joseph, does Lara know that you're having counselling sessions? Yeah, she knows. Um, the other night after, you know, we had this situation, I, I told her I was going to change that I didn't deserve her or Camilla. I didn't deserve to be a father if, if I didn't resolve my stuff. What stuff? Look at that, there is something I need to tell you. And 
it's been really hard for me because I'm never, I kept it quiet for a very long time and I cannot get it out, okay? It's been inside me for a long time and I kept it quiet for many, many years. Does, does Lara know about it? Uh, no, no, she doesn't know anything. I, I, I kept her protected from this because, you know, it's a mess and but I guess in a way she had to pay a toll because of the effect of this. Um, Do you want her to know? I guess. But first I need to be able to say it out loud. You know, I never, ever, I have never spoken about this with anybody. Never. I thought I was going to take all this information to my grave. I cannot do it anymore. It's the, the, the load is too heavy and I'm, I'm really, I'm affecting my family because of this. And this needs to end now. Does anybody know about it? Uh, yeah, maybe some of my relatives, but they don't talk about it with me. And, you know, it's, you know how families are. Sometimes when something traumatic happens, they just tend to forget things and erase memories from their brains. Yeah. And in my case, I wasn't that lucky. You know, I, ha I was trying so hard to forget. I was just, you know, just banging my head and trying to tell my brain, just please forget, forget. But I can't, I can't, and it's still, still there. But Joseph, even those people who do forget their traumatic events, even they have to eventually learn how to deal with it. Because it could just pop into their mind at absolutely any time. So it's probably a good thing that you haven't blocked it out and you can learn to deal with it now. Look, uh, this is, I, I feel that this is a time for me to say. I need to get it out. Because otherwise it's, it's just gonna haunt me forever. I need to say, it. I, need to, I need to be able to say it. I just need you to, please bear with me because I can't get it out. Joseph, you're safe, okay? I'm here to listen and you're in a safe environment. Please just take your time, okay? You can't do it. How about if you describe the situation in two or three words? And you don't even have to give a lot of details. If that makes it easy, then do it that way. Okay. Mom. Dad. Murder. <laughs>